Did you know that Geneva is one of the most important points in the planet? In fact, it was Master Joal Kuhl, the Tibetan master, that through the writings of Alice Bailey spoke about five cities that are of main importance and with a special spiritual influx to humanity. Those cities from east to west are Tokyo in Japan, Darjeeling in India, Geneva in Switzerland where we are right now, London in United Kingdom and New York in the American continent. Even if now all of these points including uh, Geneva are not in its maximum potential of expression, we can find in this place where we are now many things that give a clue that why this place is and can be so important for humanity. If we go to the origin of the name Geneva, it is a Celtic word that means stuary or uh, mouth, it is the river Ron that goes through the Lehman Lake and follows towards France and it's coming from the high peaks of the Alps. We are in an enclave that it is very special because of the presence of the Alps where many masters have settled Eterical ashrams as Master Saint Germain that we spoke about in this channel in some videos. In fact, there is a chapel, a church of Saint Germain in the center of Geneva, very close to the cathedral. And also in this area, we find the reformer wall. Why this monument to the Protestant reform? in this place. John Calvin uh, stayed here in Geneva. He was a French theologist and at that time he was one of the uh, most important figures in the Protestant reform. And in that wall we find a very nice motto that is the motto of the reform but also the motto of the city of Geneva. Post tenebras lux in Latin it means after darkness light. So we have this uh, profound message in this place that is uh, in fact a motto of a city that despite this uh, reform and this uh, dispute with the Catholic Church it has always been a place of peace and sometimes it's called Geneva the city of peace. It is the place where the League of Nations was started. It was the first seat of the United Nations that we know today as a potential government of the world. In fact, the headquarters of United Nations now are in New York, but here in Geneva we have the headquarters for United Nations in Europe. And we also have many other agencies of the United Nations or international agencies like uh, Red Cross International. Here is also the venue, the site for the World Health Organization, the Agency for Health in the United Nations. So it's a place where this idea of a uh, world government has uh, come together. In fact, in this place it was signed the Convention of Geneva, that is a convention that uh, gave some instructions on humanitarian law in case of war, what is allowed and what is not allowed even in times of war. And the idea to create this convention, these guidelines for all the countries in the world, was 
uh, born here in Geneva in this place of peace, this place of international meeting where, we, as I said, we have the Alps, we have the presence of Master uh, Joal Kul, the Tibetan Master, Lucy Strass has uh, also a venue here in Geneva, we have the, also the influx of Master Saint Germain through his uh, ashram in the Alps, so it's a very special place, as I said, not in his splendor, but we can find many aspects that highlights the importance of this area. Moreover, it is a point in St. Jacques' path to Santiago. We can see near the cathedral, so in St. Peter's Cathedral here in Geneva, some signs uh, showing the directions to follow if you are walking this uh, St. Jacques path. So it's a place of pilgrimage in this uh, route from Europe to Santiago de Compostela. And we have also a very important institution here in Geneva, that is CERN, is one of the most important investigation research centers in the world. It's a place where uh, more than 80 countries work together in fact, the people working in this uh, research center belong to more than 100 nationalities. And even if it is a place for uh, basic research, it also has given birth to many developments that are crucial today. For example, the World Wide Web, the protocol World Wide Web, was created in CERN, in Geneva and also the first touch screen was uh, developed here. So this is a meeting point for nationalities, for governments, a meeting point for peace that already has to find its full expression, but that we can sense in some extent and that we can find all these different points that we were uh, commenting about San Jack Path, about international research, about international organizations that work for uh, humanitarian purposes. All this and the presence also of the masters is what we can find in this city of Geneva.